What up, y'all? Got one of these here best flaying job videos. You guys might be surprised at what I do. Y'all come along with me. Let's pull these slabs out the uh, live well. See what we're going to be working with. Got that beautiful sunset going on over there. Over here at that there waterside marina. New waterside marina. Got that bad boy filleting table right there. And as y'all know, I've been yanking them in with the bad boy Denali rods. I got my bag right here. I always uh, put my fish in out of the live well. Take them to the cleaning station. Let's pull some of these hogs out of there. Ooh wee, y'all. Uh-huh. That's what we're going to be working with. Bam. Ooh wee. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. If y'all want to get at me, I'm going to drop my email. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm full-time guiding. Y'all want to get out here and get some of them? Y'all give me a holler. In the Houston, Texas area. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know how many I got. I know I don't have a limit. I went back out after uh, my guide trip today just to do some research. Check out some uh, some piles to see if they're active. I hit one or two and move on. And as you see, I got some active piles out there. And for those of you that don't know about the white bass, got a couple of them too. That's going to make some fabulous tacos. We all know about the crappie. I'll show you guys how to play the white bass too. Let's go do some work. Let's get some work done. Fixed us up over here with a very nice cleaning table. Got uh, two hoses. Really nice cleaning table. Put a bunch of crappie up there or catfish. Also, we got a little ladder to assist you getting in your boat now. Brand new bulkhead all the way around. Let's see what we're working with. Let's see what we're working with. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. What I'm working with is a uh, Rappler R12. And uh, any of you guys that... I keep a fork in mine. So I'll show you what that's for here in a minute. This thing's put in some work already. Same blade. Hadn't re did a replacement blade on it yet. One thing too that I'd recommend is uh, if you if you come here and uh, do, and go out on a trip and come back and want to use the table, bring you a Tupperware bowl because I just don't trust this. Even though it's stainless, just don't know what people do. Just don't know what people do out here. So I always bring my own Tupperware bowl so I can put my fillets in there. But this is the R12 Rapala, made by Rapala's R12, and uh, I'm liking it. It's been doing really well. Comes with uh, two lithium batteries. These batteries do at least uh, 75 fish. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and change this one. I put a fresh one in. I hadn't charged them in a in a while. Now this is gonna be something brand new to a lot of y'all, uh, and it's. It's a lot like I, I fillet with my manual knife. We'll find some of the ones that are less less lively. All right, where are the less lively ones? I don't need somebody hollering about it. Oh, you was out there cutting fish, and it was out there twitching like they were about to die. So let's uh, get started. So what I do is turn the fish towards me. This is going to be my first cut. So go towards me, cut down to the center bone. As soon as I touch that center bone, I turn the blade lengthwise. That's my first cut. So I open the fillet up. Go down to the, the top of the ribs and the top of that center bone. As soon as I hit that center bone, bend this down just a little bit more, give y'all a little better view. As soon as I hit that, that center bone, I go over and back down, right back up against those, those bones. And I go around, go around the, uh, the uh, stomach. I don't cut the stomach open. Sort of almost identical to the way I uh, do my manual. And the other side, you just do the same thing. Let that blade ride the bones out. And you open it up. And the same thing, cut down to the stomach. Go to the center bone, over and down. And just follow the rib line. So you'll understand why I got that fork. I keep that fork in my, in my, uh, and that's a done deal. You can almost, you can for sure see through that fish. That, that's what you want. I mean, I'm getting all of that meat above the head uh, that everybody, you know, everybody just want to cut straight down. That's a the prime bite that's right there, if you ask me. That's the back strap. I feel good throwing that carcass away. That's a carcass.
pretty simple. I'm gonna do two of these like that. Flip it around, facing you just like this. Go right on the underside of your arm. Cut down to that center bone. And then just follow it out. Open it up. Go down to a real cage. Now I'm gonna tell you something about this knife. This Rappler has a very, very aggressive blade, right? So if you put it up on those, up on those, uh, if you put it up on those uh, bones, guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna slice right through them. So you got your fillets off of the fish now. This is still has a skin on it. So you're gonna take your fork while it's laying on your table, grab that tip end back there, bam, boneless fillet boneless fillet it's just that quick guys just that quick you don't have to sit here and play around going around no rib bones none of that none of that those are boneless all the way boneless fillets all the way boneless boneless fillets and you just just cut it off the skin no wasted meat and uh i'm gonna put me some Water in my Tupperware. I usually have ice, but I only got a. I hadn't even counted how I many I got. I went out with a uh, on a guy that tripped this morning. Took some clients out and uh, went back out, and I wasn't trying to load the boat. I was just trying to find an active pile. And what I mean by that, I'd hit a pile and uh, hit one, maybe two fish. See the quality uh, of fish that that pile is holding. That way when I get more clients out, I know where my active piles are. And you can do this with any fillet knife. I just like this R12. Uh, it does a really good job. It's like I say, it is an aggressive knife. So, uh, and all I'm doing is just following that bone structure. That's nothing but following the bone structure. That's all I'm doing. I'm not cutting through not a one bone. Not cutting through one bone. That's what's going to extend my, my blade like. Bam, bam, bam. Got that sun, it done went behind the trees over there now. I should have showed y'all that end result of that sunset over there. Around the stomach. Peel that fillet back. Just go right around the marina. Done deal. Who's ready for the sea to white bass? Pretty much the same thing, it's just that when I go to cut it off of the, uh, go to cut it off of the skin, I don't try to get the fillet cut down to the skin. And then I'm going to hose that fillet down. so very important. If you want to clean the way that, that, that fillet fries up and taste, get that blood out of it. I know other people got, you know, they do milk and all this other kind of stuff I just cut the red off and uh, cut the red off and, and hose it down to get all you know spread until the foam stops is what I like to say so you can do you five or six and I just line them up just like this line them up get them lined up just like that and just uh Super quickly. Boneless fillet. Boneless fillet. It's going to be, uh, you can do them blackened, you can do them fried, you can do them baked. It don't matter. That's going to be goodness right there, y'all. All the way goodness. I know that there's going to be somebody that's going to have a better way. And I'll tell you this, if your way is better, your way is my way. 
but until I see that it's better, this right here is the way I get it done. This is the way I make it happen. And I'll tell you this, 25 fish out of Lake Houston, that's, that's two full gallon bags of uh, fillets. It's not none of that Mickey Mouse stuff. These are full, even on a, a, a 11 inch fish, you still get you know full fillet. That's a full fillet. Full fillet. All right, white bass time. Pretty much the same deal. Those of you that say you don't eat them because you didn't have them, have them cleaned, cleaned properly. Because uh, if you like fish, you don't, you can't say that you don't like this fish. It's a, actually a pretty clean tasting fish. If if it's cleaned properly, and it's the same deal. Just uh, take it, you know, follow the bone down. Same as with the crappie. Nothing different here. But where it changes is when you get to cut it off the skin. That's where the uh, bloodline is. And there you go. See through carcass. Alright, so here's where things change all my crappie I try to ride the skin here I want to leave a little little layer of uh, red down there and then you you see that I mean it's very min minor line of, of uh, red through there that's gonna cook up very fine and as you can see all of that dark red meat is left on the skin and it's all about angles with these uh, fillet knives Got a little bit closer than I like on that one, but if you do, watch what I do right here. Gonna end up with two pieces. Gonna end up with two pieces with off this one fillet. But it's very important to get that red meat off. The red meat is what gives it the foul taste. Just shave it off. You do waste a little. I mean, it's red meat, though. Don't nobody, don't nobody like that. I know I don't. All right, let me get. Uh, I got to get my stuff cleaned up. I got a final step that I'm gonna show you guys before uh, the, the fillets are are ready for the however you wanna cook it, grease, bake. Uh, pan fried or black in whichever way you want to call it uh, grill however you want to do it you got a final step that's going to help you clean your meat up take that hose or your kitchen sink and you just spray those fillets until that foam stops and I do my, my crappie like this I do all my fillets like this and it just helps in the flavor department big time takes any you know crappie's not fishy anyway but it, it it really does improve improve the uh the taste this is that final step and and uh after this i mean it's just uh however you like freezing your fillets so i'm just gonna sit here and i'm gonna spray and i'm gonna spray and i'm gonna spray until that foam stops and tomorrow these right here will be cooked up. I'm not for sure. Uh, oh, my wife, she she in love with fried. Uh, but me trying to be healthy, we get no. Got to try to be healthy. I prefer baked or uh, baked or uh, or uh, blackened.
a lot more healthy for you and tastes just as good. You just play with your seasonings. And and coming soon, I'm gonna do a uh, I'm gonna do a uh, a cook to where as you guys can see. And I'm gonna tell you, I don't have just one line of seasonings that I use. I, I mix up a lot of different seasonings and uh, because you know it gets kind of old if you just use the same stuff. So don't be scared to play around with your seasonings. Mix them up and uh, enjoy. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And uh, leave me a comment down there. Let me uh, let me know how you fillet. Let me know if you try this and it works out for you. Let me know if this helps you put more fish in your box. Let me know down there, right down there in the comments. All right, guys. Later.